So this is something that I've been wanting to show you for a really long time. Um, it doesn't grow near me, so I've had to do a little uh, expedition to show you it. Um, it's another member of the Apiaceae family. Um, this one's called Conium maculatum, um, and it's one of our most poisonous plants in the UK. Um, it's, its common name is hemlock, um, which people have probably heard of. Um, and it often seems to be mistaken for other plants in the Apiaceae, particularly things like cow parsley and priscus. Um, to me, it looks really different. I could see this patch was hemlock from a distance before I got near it. It's just, the leaves are incredibly kind of almost geometric if you look. They're, they're very lacy, they're very kind of angular, uh, much more so than uh, than cow parsley, which is kind of rounder and more lobed looking. This from a distance almost looks like kind of little sharp fronds rather than lobed leaves. Um, and it just grows differently somehow. It's it's quite big compared to other uh, Apiaceae, so when it's uh, fully grown it's often much taller than me. Um, and uh, and yeah, it just looks a bit kind of blousey and shelfy. Um, but as we're looking at Apiaceae, I've mentioned before that the most important parts to look at are generally not the leaves, although they might give you an idea. Um, when they're like this, where the leaves are similar to other members of the family, we go to look at the stems. So, if we go down here, and I'll just pull back some, some leaves for a good look. Can you see this? This stem is completely smooth, it's got a bloom on it, that kind of whiteness that rubs off. Um, and it's green with red blotching or spots. It looks like someone's taken a paintbrush with red paint and flicked it on the plant. So where cow parsley will uh, will go in and out from purple colours to green colours, it'll kind of fade from one to the other. This is very definitely green background, flicks of red. Um, this is also completely smooth, um, no hairs, so uh, cow parsley always has hairs, um, sometimes more obvious than others. Um, and something I'm going to do, I don't always because I can just tell you, but it's quite nice while we've got something that I don't see all the time here. We'll give it a cut. And it's very definitely hollow. It's a nice, obvious, round, hollow stem. Um, so that's a main leaf stem that I've just cut. There aren't any flower stems yet because it's quite young. Um, but there have been stories of kind of children using this as pea shooters and things like that, which would not be ideal. Um, you certainly wouldn't want to eat this. Touching it is, is pretty safe. Um, some members of this family have a kind of uh, a photo sensitive effect on your skin. Uh, you get the sap on you and then in the sun. I've not heard of that with hemlock. Um, but if you want to be extra careful with this family, you can just... Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus as usual. If you want to be careful, you can just wear gloves when you're handling it. Um, one thing that I will say is that strimming this is an issue. The, the chemicals in it can become airborne if, if you do a lot of cutting all at once and breathe it in. So you wouldn't want to do that. Um, but yeah, I think that it's a nice easy one and that's probably enough that should you see something with a, a lovely round, uh, smooth hairless stem with red blotches and these beautiful lacy, lacy leaves, you should now know that that's hemlock and you don't want to eat it. It is, however, one of my very favourite wild plants. I think it's just beautiful, possibly influenced by the fact I don't see it very often. So I'm really enjoying it. Do press like and subscribe. Uh, I'll be adding lots and lots more videos as we go through the growing season. I've already got a couple under my belt today. Um, and do enjoy your foraging and and yeah, being aware of what we don't want to forage is also very important.